This is a topic that doesn't get the attention it deserves, especially from the big YouTubers. I haven't found a good guide on how to do this, so you're in luck. I'm going to do it for you now. It's how to pack and ship a PC safely. Why might you want to ship a PC? The two main reasons are moving house when you want to ensure safe transit, or if you're a PC seller, you want to ensure that your customers get their PC in top-notch condition. Why trust me? I run JCPC Customs and in over 800 custom PC builds, none have been damaged in transit and it's all due to this ultra secure method. Let's lay out what we need to get this done. The PC case box. If you don't have this, you can alternatively very tightly wrap the PC in a lot of bubble wrap, but the case box is perfect because it's the perfect size for your case and it has those polystyrene or foam inserts that keep it from shaking around in transit. You're gonna need a larger exterior box. I use these Bulldog boxes as they are sturdy AF. The size I recommend is 60 by 60 by 60 centimeters. Sorry, American guys, you're gonna to have to work out what that is in inches. This fits most mid towers. Try not to go larger than this or the parcel carrier may not take it, at least in the UK. If your case is too large to fit in this size box, there's no real way around it. You'll be paying an absolute bomb for postage. Internal packing foam. I use Instapack and we'll be showing you how it works as well. It's an expanding foam that you put inside the PC to stop the components shaking around in transit. You're going to need shed loads of air pockets, bubble wrap or other soft stuff. You can see in the video here today we're going to be using all sorts of different types of bubble wrap. All it is is just a bit of cushioning for the bottom of the box. I tend to avoid using clothing for this because it's not actually that soft when you fold it together. You know, if you fold a load of t-shirts together, it's actually quite solid. So I don't recommend doing that if you can help it. You're gonna need loads of tape. You're gonna need some scissors and you're gonna need a printer and that's to print out your shipping label. So let's do this. It will take a while, but I promise this is 100% the best way to do it. I've been doing it for years. Turn off your PC and unplug everything, obviously. Lay the PC on its side and remove the glass panel, or you know, the side with all the components in it. You'll need plenty of room to do this, so either do it on a large table or do it on the floor. The safest way to ship your PC is just to remove the video card entirely and send it separately and you can reassemble it at your destination. The same goes for those large tower air coolers, especially the Noctua ones. But as I'm sending these PCs out to customers, that's not an option, so we need to send it fully assembled. Take your Instapack and unfold it with the writing side up. It's best practice to wear gloves and goggles for this. Now get your game face on because you're gonna to need to do this fast. To use it, push firmly on the A side until you feel a pop. Then alternately push the A and B sides to mix the chemicals. When you feel a second pop, the mixture spurts out into the bag quickly spread the mixture in the bag with your left hand. Immediately transfer the bag into the case and fold the top and bottom above and below the graphics card respectively. Make a barrier with your hands at the rough level of where the glass panel would be to ensure that it doesn't overexpand. Once it has stopped expanding, leave it for 10 minutes to cool down because it's going to be quite hot. Once cooled, put the glass panel back on. Bag your PC, Put on the foam inserts and put it in the case box. A key tip here is to mark one side of the case box with a G for glass. When you put your PC inside the box, make sure the glass panel faces the side of the box where you've written this G. It's really important because we're going to use this later. Tape up the case box and we'll move on to the next step. This is our large exterior box. We're going to empty a load of air pockets, bubble wrap, etc. into the bottom of the box. It's really important to pad the bottom especially because this is the most likely source of impact during delivery. I aim for the equivalent of two layers of air pockets. Then we place our PC in the box. Remember we marked the case box with a G. Place the case box inside with the G facing up. We want the glass side as far from potential impact as possible. To fill out the rest of the box, I use all the boxes from the various components used to put the build together, but you can also use things like bubble wrap. Make sure you fill all the gaps with packaging. It's really important to pack it up tightly so that the PC doesn't shake around during delivery. 
Don't tape it up just yet. Before the next step, we need to buy our shipping label. Ensure you accurately disclose the box's total size to avoid surcharges and estimate the weight. A good tip that I use is looking at the shipping label provider's terms. I always declare it as the maximum weight that that service supports because then you're going to avoid all those nasty surcharges. For example, I ship using DPD. Their maximum weight is 20 kilograms, so I declare all PC shipments as 20 kilograms, even if they're lighter than that because the price of the label stays the same. Buying insurance is a personal choice for your peace of mind if you wish to do it, but I'm not going to make this decision for you. As for places to pick up shipping labels, I can only speak for the UK, but for most consumers I quite like parcel to go that's one of my favourites. I would typically go with DPD, UPS is also an option for slightly larger parcels. Once you've got your shipping label, make sure you print off three copies, not just one, not just two, three copies. Now that we've got our label, back to the package. Place one copy of the shipping label inside the package. I also place a link to the setup guide as well as the customer invoice in there, but you don't need to do that. The reason to put one inside is in case the outside labels get damaged. Tape up the box. I use what I call the buttress method. Tape across the fold three times and then along the fold three times. Then along the sides to keep your original tape in place, acting like a buttress. I also place some personalized JCPC tape along the top as a nice touch, but of course you don't need to do that. Put your shipping labels on the box. Put one on the top and then one on the opposite side so that the courier can easily scan the barcode. There we go, all done, and a fine job indeed. Well done, guys. Take it to the pickup point or a weight collection, depending on the service that you chose. I hope that was helpful. We've got lots more helpful PC tips like this one, how to vinyl wrap a power supply. So subscribe and ring the bell to see those. A like and comment would make my day if you found this information helpful. Until next time, happy computing.